You can get pretty much anything you want as long as you pay attention while you're searching. Even if you don't know anything about the RCL website or how its various search functions work, if you carefully read as you go, you will quickly get the hang of it. Try an initial search under the Articles and Books tab. Now carefully read the page that comes up. Note the number of search returns. There may be a recommendation for you by a little light bulb icon at the top of the page, not in this particular instance. Look through the various ways you can refine your search with the tools in the left-hand menu. Now look at one single search return. It may look unfamiliar and maybe even a little confusing initially, but if you take the time to actually read through even the brief record provided, you will find that you have a great deal of information and perhaps even everything you need. You will quickly and easily be able to tell if a particular search result references a physical book, an e-book, a book chapter, a journal article, whether or not we have the item in question in our holdings, and if so, whether we have it in our building or if it's only accessible online. Whether a particular physical item is allowed to circulate and where exactly on campus it lives, whether an item is not in our immediate holdings but can easily be obtained by means of our interlibrary loan service. A very small investment in care and attention pays large and long-lasting dividends for the scholar in training.